All right, well, it definitely felt like winter <laughs> in the valley. Record yes, low temperatures. Jordan's uh, standing by with just how low did it go? Oh, yeah, yeah Stephen Marley. It got down to 28 degrees in Modesto this morning, and that did break a record. That was set back in 1975 of 29. It was a chilly start to the day, and we'll likely see more chilly numbers as we head into our Monday morning as well. Now, other numbers across the board, we did get to 28 degrees out of Modesto as well, but that was one degree shy of tying their record of 27. We saw 30s here in Sacramento as well as in Stockton, but in the foothills, it was actually a lot warmer there into the mid to low 40s. Now, as we take a live look outside this Sunday night, look at that. A beautiful evening as we close off our weekend here, the final weekend of November. We'll see clear skies with uh, some areas with mid and high level clouds, but temperatures already starting to drop down. As we take a look at those numbers, 53 degrees currently in Sacramento, 59 in Stockton. We got 55 in Modesto. And right now, Marysville always clocking in at 55 degrees. Our humidity at 48%, dew point at 34. Our winds are calm and our pressure right now at 30.18. Now, we will see a clear skies for tonight, perfect for viewing that lunar eclipse and the full moon that does happen at around 142 California time. So we will get a chance to see it uh, a very subtle eclipse in the skies tonight. But we do see some mid and high level cloud streaming in over us. That's going to be ahead of a system that is moving closer to uh, the Pacific Northwest. Unfortunately, we're not anticipating any rain in our region. We will see some shower activity as we head into the most northern portions of the state. But other than that, we're going to remain high and dry as we step into uh, December on uh, Tuesday. Now we will see winds increase as that storm system passes off towards the east. We will see winds picking up after midnight tomorrow night. We could see wind gusts anywhere from 25 to 30 miles per hour. That's mainly going to be on the western portions of the valley as uh, we head into our Tuesday. That's when the winds will finally start to ease off uh, into the afternoon. Taking a look though at our winds for tonight and tomorrow is going to be a pretty pleasant day. We'll see temperatures again dipping down into the low 30s tomorrow, mid 60s for our daytime high. So very similar to what we saw today. Our average here in Sacramento around 59 degrees, so it will be slightly warmer than that, but plenty of afternoon sunshine with those light winds, mainly increasing though for the western portions of the valley. So about Vacaville, Woodland, even out towards the Sacramento International Airport. So should see some stronger winds tomorrow night. We'll see temperatures into the low 60s for tomorrow, upper 30s tonight. We'll see 35 for Auburn, 61 for your daytime high with light winds and plenty of sunshine. We'll see easterly winds out towards Plumas County with temperatures into the upper teens to mid 20s. And if you're heading into the Greater Lake Tahoe area, light south winds coming through at about five miles per hour. Overnight lows into the teens. Our daytime high is getting into the upper 40s, low 50s. We'll see 36 tonight for San Jose, waking up to some morning fog as well. We'll see northwest winds at about five miles per hour, 45 tonight for San Francisco, warming to the low 60s. We'll see 66 out in Fairfield. So on this seven day forecast, not a whole lot will be changing. We'll see temperatures mainly in the low to mid 60s. We'll see temperatures also dropping down tonight. We'll see around 40 here in the Sacramento area, but slightly cooler as you head down towards the northern San Joaquin Valley. Overnight lows, they'll start to cool down as we finish off and head into the end of the week. You can see 62 as we step into December on Tuesday.